Greetings, comrades! This is Ungaming Caleb, back with another episode of Shmup Saturdays. And, uh, today we're playing a game I haven't really played that much. And I actually forgot I had this in my library, honestly. This is called Missile Dancer. And it's a pretty interesting shoot 'em up. Uh, basically, um, you play as a ship that has lock on missiles. In fact, give me a minute so I can show up the. so I can bring up the, uh, Steam page. Alright, I'm back. So, uh, yeah, according about this game, this is a vertical sh scroll shooting game. You can operate the fighter missile dancer, which implements lock on missiles. A cursor for lock on is displayed about, above your plane. While pushing the shot, the cursor zooms in. You can lock on by matching the cursor with enemies. The range of cursor, the number of lock on increases by taking the power up item. And that's it. That's the description of the game. I think so, not much to go by there, but, uh,. Yeah, from what I've seen from the uh, footage, yeah, it's... In a way, it's sort of like uh, Raystorm. We have a lock-on mechanic and stuff like that. And there's actually another game called Missile Dancer on Switch, but it's a completely different game and from a completely different publisher. Not just any relation, I might check that out later. But uh, this Missile Dancer, there's also a sequel coming soon, and it... From what I've seen, it looks... It plays more like... looks like more like Afterburner. You know, the old Sega airplane game. With that sweet ass arcade cabinet. Oh man. Never played in that, but it would have been cool. So basically you're a you're a ship that has lock on missiles. So that's the description of the game, not missiles to go by. And apparently there's a caravan mode. You know you know, no shooters complete without a caravan mode. Basically you got a three minute time trial, get as many points as you can. But arcade mode. I guess it's we'll normal. You have a okay. You have to press Y in order to launch the missile. I think I got the paddle buttons here. Make it a little easier. Cut off your main gun. Range. Let's turn all of the missiles. Oh, by the way, sorry if the game's loud, there's no option to change the volume, so nothing I can do about it. Futuristic B2. So is that like some sort of scoring mechanic? Like uh, the more you walk on at once, the more points you get. I like it. Okay, let's play the graphics here are kind of simple. It kind of reminds me of those old Atari ST games. Oh, that's cool. Let's see if we can And I like how it has a, a displays the controls and stuff all the time, so you know how to play. I can't blow up the cars. Oh, a lot of other shoot ups you can do that. I do kind of like a faux radar let you know when enemies are coming, so... Shooting down helicopters that somehow can catch up with a jet going at Mach 5. Oh, it launch automatically? It does, huh. Because I didn't have to press the. So you have a few power ups, one's that increase your range, and some that increase the amount of missiles you can fire. Get those crystals to get more points. Off of the course. Arcade mode. It constructed in all eight areas. And the first time you can only start from 
form area one. Yeah, let's return the title. Once you complete the area, you can select next area and the next play. Caravan mode, you, play, you can play three minutes score attacking the area for exclusive use of the caravan mode. Since the next enemy appears when you destroy the enemy, you can get more store, or scores by defeating enemies quickly. Yeah, you can kind of tell English isn't their first language. Just some of these typos and stuff. Cursor for Longhouse is displayed while pushing the lock-on button. When you push the missile button or release the lock-on button, missiles are fired in arbitrary timing. Okay, so your ship fires automatically. It's just that for the missiles, you have to hold the uh, lock-on button. And you gotta let go of the lock-on button or press the missile button in order to fire the missiles. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Use the paddle buttons this time around. Yeah, I do like how minimal the graphics are. Sometimes all of the action, you know. So I've got one of those uh, style over substance kind of games. I've seen the most AAA games these days. Shouldn't fire automatically. So it's a neat concept, if not original. It's basically a budget race storm. I actually wasn't aware that this game was getting a sequel. This is a sort of old game. I bought this way back in like 2017, I think. And this game's $9. The price is a decent amount, so uh. I'm honestly, playing this, I just wish I was playing Ray Storm or even Ray Force. Find this one time, but for some reason I thought that her shoe was like an F14. Shoot down enemy missiles too, which is good. Like how they can't lock onto you. There's some days when I try to find a shmup for shmup Saturday, I try to go for games I'm really familiar with, but at the same time, I want to go for games like I hardly touch or I simply never played before. You know, it gives me a chance to check out other shmups. Honestly, there are a ton of shmups on here. I'm sure Switch has more. I need to check out the other Missile Dancer from the Nintendo Game Drop. I've, I've seen it's played. it's a completely different game. I was looking up on Bane, the Missile Dancer, and then another game, you know, I was like, this thing, you know, it's a different game, different publisher too, so, okay, might give that a try. Again, sorry if the game's a little loud, I, I can't adjust the volume, so there's nothing I can do about it. Military tanks. At least they're honest about it. You know, no shoe ups complete without a bunch of tanks to blow up. It might be better if the background's a little more distinguishable, like there's more color. Or at least give your projectiles a different color than enemy projectiles, because... 
So it's hard for me to tell which ones are the mine, which are the enemies. Like in Ray Storm, like the more lock cons you have at once, the more points you get. The guys have better. Giant airplane that's about smaller airplane from the Queens. Wrap your mind around that. Oh yeah, this came out way 2018. Okay, I was way off. 20, I said it was 2017. No, it came out in 2018. Yeah, been in my library for a while. I literally played for 12 minutes when I fired this up again. So now it's changed. Not too bad of a game, though. I have played better. I suppose there's an option to change the volume. Kind of reminds me of Strike Gunner in a way. STV. Do you remember that game on the Super Nintendo? At the time, I didn't know it was an arcade port. I like those lines coming out of the wings, giving you an idea of contrails. Can know the Ray series has done that before. And of course, it's the All Time X uh, trilogy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this little dancer. Not too bad of a game. Though, uh, in my opinion, there are better games out there. But, there, of course, there are far worse, too. If Stream Greenlight was any indication. But, yeah, probably check out that other Missile Dancer game on Switch. Again, it's, I saw it looks like a completely different game. And, uh, I might check out the sequel for this Missile Dancer when it comes out. It's coming soon right now. No official release date yet. So, we'll just see where it goes from there. So, anyway, this is Gaming Caleb signing out. You have a good day. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go